Hello everyone, I'm Zainab and you're watching Study Machine's Computer Science Series. The topic for today's video is Storage Devices Primary Storage Devices Primary storage devices are internal to the system and are the fastest of the memory storage device category. Random access memory, RAM, read-only memory, ROM, graphic card memory, and cache memory are common examples of primary storage devices. Virtual memory. Virtual memory is a memory management technique where secondary memory can be used as if it were a part of the main memory. Virtual memory is a common technique used in a computer's operating system. OS. Virtual memory uses both hardware and software to enable a computer to compensate the physical memory shortages, temporarily transferring data from random access memory RAM to disk storage. Today, most personal computers PCs come with at least 8 GB of RAM, but sometimes this is not enough to run several programs at one time. This is where virtual memory comes in. Virtual memory frees up RAM by swapping data that has not been used recently over to a storage device such as a hardware drive or solid state drive SSD. Cloud storage The cloud is the internet. More specifically, it's all of the things you can access remotely over the internet. When something is in the cloud, it means it's stored on internet servers instead of your computer's hard drive. There are hundreds of different cloud storage systems. Some have a very specific focus such as storing web email messages or digital pictures. Others are available to store all forms of digital data. Some cloud storage systems are small operations, while others are so large that the physical equipment can fill up an entire warehouse. The facilities that house cloud storage systems are called data centers. At its most basic level, a cloud storage system needs just one data server connected to the internet. A client, example, a computer user subscribing to a cloud storage service, sends copies of files over the internet to the data server, which then records the information. When a client wishes to retrieve the information, he or she accesses the data server through a web-based interface. The server then either sends the files back to the client or allows the client to access and manipulate the files on the server itself. Secondary Storage Secondary storage is computer memory that is non-volatile and persistent in nature and is not directly accessed by a computer processor. It allows a user to store data that may be instantly and easily retrieved, transported and used by applications and services. There are three types of secondary storage devices. Magnetic storage devices, optical storage devices, and solid state storage devices. Magnetic storage devices. Magnetic storage media and devices store data in the form of tiny magnetized dots. These dots are created, read, and erased using magnetic fields created by very tiny electromagnets. In the case of magnetic tape, the dots are arranged along the length of a long plastic strip, which has been coated with a magnetizable layer. Audio and video tapes use a similar technology. In the case of magnetic disk, example floppy disk or hard drive, the dots are arranged in circles on the surface of a plastic, metal or glass disk that has a magnetizable coating. Hard drives Hard drives have a very large storage capacity up to 1 terabyte. They can be used to store vast amounts of data. Hard drives are random access devices and can be used to store all types of films including huge files such as movies. Data access speeds are very fast. Data is stored inside a hard drive on rotating metal or glass disks called platters. Fixed hard drive A hard drive built into the case of a computer is known as fixed. Almost every computer has a fixed hard drive. Fixed hard drives act as the main backend storage device for almost all computers since they provide almost instant access to files, random access and high access speeds. Portable hard drive A portable hard drive is one that is placed into a small case along with some electronics that allow the hard drive to be accessed using a USB or similar connection. Portable hard drives allow very large amounts of data to be transported from computer to computer. Many portable music players such as the iPod Classic contain tiny hard drives. These miniature devices are just not much bigger than a stamp but can still store over 100 megabytes of data. Magnetic tape Magnetic tape is a large capacity serial access medium. Because it is a serial access medium, accessing individual files on a tape is slow. Tapes are used where large amounts of data need to be stored, 
but where quick access to individual files is not required. A typical use is for data backup. Lots of data, but rarely only access in an emergency. Tapes are also used in some batch processing applications. Example to hold the list of data that will be processed. Floppy disk, a removable, portable, cheap, low capacity 1.44 megabyte storage medium. Floppy disks are random access devices used to transfer small amounts of data between computers or to back up small files, etc. Access times are slow. Almost every PC used to have a floppy disk drive. These are obsolete now, having been replaced by higher capacity technology such as CD-ROMs, DVDs, and USB memory sticks. Optical storage devices. Optical storage devices save data as patterns of dots that can be read using light. A laser beam is a usual light source. When the laser shines on the disk surface, lamps reflect the light back, whereas pits scatter the laser beam. A sensor looks for the reflected light. Reflected light lands represent a binary 1 and no reflection pits represent a binary 0. Read only raw media have data pre-written on them. The data cannot be overwritten. Music, film, software and games are often distributed this way. Recordable R media. Recordable R media are blank. An optical device writes data to them by shining a laser onto the disk. The laser burns bits to represent zeros. The media can be written to only once but can be read many times. Copies of data are often made using these media. Rewritable RW media work in a similar way to R media but can be written more than once. Types of optical devices Read only optical disks. CD ROM Compact disk read only memory or CD ROM disk can hold around 800 megabytes of data. The data cannot be altered, non volatile, so cannot be accidentally deleted. CD ROMs are random access devices. CD ROMs are used to distribute all sorts of data software, example, office applications or games, music, electronic books, example, an encyclopedia with sound and video. DVD ROM Digital versatile disk read only memory or DVD ROM disk can hold around 4.7 gigabytes of data. A dual layer DVD can hold twice as that. DVD-ROMs are used in the same way as CD-ROMs, but since they can hold more data, they are also used to store high-quality video. High-Capacity Optical Discs Blu-ray Blu-ray discs are a recent replacement for DVDs. A Blu-ray disc can hold 25 to 50 gigabytes of data. A dual-layered Blu-ray disc can hold twice as that. Blu-ray discs are random access devices. Blu-ray discs are used in the same way as DVD-ROMs. But since they can hold more data, they are also used to store very high quality, high definition HD videos. The blue part of Blu-ray refers to the fact that the laser used to read the disc uses blue light instead of red light. Blue light has a shorter wavelength than red light, which is used with CDs and DVDs. Using a blue laser allows more data to be placed closer together on a Blu-ray disc than on a DVD or CD. So Blu-ray has a much higher storage capacity than these older discs. HD DVD High density DVD or HD DVD discs can hold around 15 GB of data. A dual layer HD DVD can hold twice of that. HD DVDs are random access devices. HD DVD discs are used in the same way as DVD ROMs. But since they can hold more data, they are also used to store very high quality, high definition HD videos. The HD DVD format was launched at the same time as Blu-ray. For about a year, they competed to be the next DVD. For various reasons, Blu-ray won the fight and the HD DVD format has been abandoned. Recordable optical discs CD-R and DVD-R CD recordable CD-R and DVD recordable DVD-R discs can have data burned onto them but not erased. You can keep adding data until the disk is full, but you cannot remove any data or reuse a full disk. CD-RW and DVD-RW CD rewritable CD-RW and DVD rewritable DVD-RW discs unlike CD-Rs and DVD-Rs can have data burned onto them and also erased so that the disk can be reused. When CD-Rs and DVD-Rs are burned, the laser makes permanent marks on the silver colored metal layer. This is why these discs cannot be erased. When CD-RWs and DVD-RWs are burned, the laser makes marks on the metal layer, but in a way that can be undone. So these discs can be erased. DVD-RAM 
DVD Random Access Memory or DVD RAM Disc are a type of rewritable DVD. They often come in a floppy disk style case to protect the disk. DVD RAM Disc have a similar capacity to a normal DVD, holding 4.7 GB of data. DVD RAM Discs are random access devices. DVD RAM Discs are used in many camcorders, video recording cameras. The discs are much higher quality than normal DVD RWs and can reliably store data for up to 30 years. This means that they are often used for video and data backup and archiving. Solid state storage devices. The term solid state essentially means no moving parts. Solid state storage devices are based on electronic circuits with no moving parts. No reels of tape, no spinning disks, no laser beams, etc. Solid state storage devices store data using a special type of memory called flash memory. Flash memory is a type of electronically erasable programmable read-only memory EEP-ROM. Flash memory is non-volatile like ROM, but the data stored in it can also be erased or changed like RAM. You might wonder why, since flash memory is non-volatile, normal computers don't use it instead of RAM. If they did, we would have computers that you could turn off, turn back on again, and no data would be lost. It would be great. The reason is speed. Saving data to flash memory is very slow compared to saving it to a RAM. If a computer were to use flash memory as a replacement for RAM, it would run very slowly. However, some portable computers are starting to use flash memory in the form of solid state disk as a replacement for hard drives. No moving parts mean less to go wrong and longer battery life. USB memory sticks. Memory sticks or thumb drives have made many other forms of portable storage almost obsolete. Why buy a CD or DVD when you can more easily copy your files onto a memory stick? Memory sticks are non-volatile, random access storage devices. Each of these small devices has some flash memory connected to a USB interface. Plug it into your computer and it appears as a drive. Then add files, erase files, etc. You can use it to move any type of file between computers. Flash memory used to be very expensive, but in recent years it has become much cheaper and you can now buy a 16GB memory stick for just a few dollars. Thank you for watching Study Nation. Animated educational videos.